Number one Marmaduke fan here. I think later I'm going to have to do some really rough art critiques of some artists from Marvel Comics who have a very cartoony style, but aren't using the cartoony style to its to its best effect. In short, you could have a more realistic style, you could have a more cartoony style, you could have a beautiful blend of those two styles, like we see here in Natasha Bustos' work for Moon Girl number 23. So pretty much uh, I see superhero comics in general as being a cartoonist art. Even if you have a more realistic style, everything about the medium lends itself to the way that cartoonists exaggerate expression, emotion, and uh, b body language. So, so the, the, the tough part is blending those elements into a co cohesive whole, because cartooning lends itself to an unrealistic, abstract way of representing people, like Scrooge McDuck in Carl Banks' Carl Banks's comics is a abstract representation of a human character and a human personality in the form of a very simple duck. Uh, oh, I don't know, Eric Larson, 90s, 90s Marvel comics are pushing towards realism, they're pu pushing towards detail, but they're still retaining the energy of cartoons. And this uh, th this style here, uh, I think this is a excellent example of how to get a best a, a best of both worlds approach. It isn't it isn't approaching the depth of realism of some comics, but it doesn't need that. It is a tightly controlled, beautiful, and emotive style. And I think you should look to uh, I, I think you should look. Let's get it. Let's get it right. I think you should look to Bustos. I think you should look to Bustos as an example to follow. I call them big brothers or big big sisters in art. You find you find someone who has what you're striving to look for, and you don't copy them a hundred percent, but you do look to them as having the qualities you're trying to develop within your own practice that you're struggling with. So uh, let's look at another one. All right, this little drawing here. I don't remember where I saw this, but I've seen several Marvel comics where the artists have the habit of drawing and clearly scaling things up and down to try to make it work. So they're not composing on the paper. They're drawing and then plopping those elements into Photoshop or some program, and they're trying to compose by scaling drawings up and down. And the disadvantage of this is your line, there's no consistency to your line work. You're going to have dinky little lines, you're going to have big, thick lines, nothing's going to feel unified. Plus, if you draw large and then scale it down, you're going to lose the, it, it's going to look like exactly like what it is. It's going to look like a large, big drawing that you just scaled down. However, what we see here is when drawing Moon Girl very small, uh, th this artist is simplifying everything. So we have everything there we need to understand the irritated expression, you know, pointing go away. But this was actually drawn at an appropriate scale. This wasn't falsely scaled down later. The result is consistency and visual appeal. So maximum respect to this artist, maximum respect to Moon Girl. I may do some uh, critiques later talking about the story. Even this one, man, I just keep seeing really good stuff. You know, big wide cartoony mouth, but nails what it needs to nail to convey the idea of the emotion. Excellent. Pick it up.